Hello guys, my name is JC, otherwise known as Avian, and today I'm looking guys back to another video. As you can guess by the title, we're going to be making some fidget spinners in Minecraft. So first of all, let's go over what fidget spinner pretty much is. It's like this weird thing that has skateboard bearings in it, and people have made a lot of money off of it. And, um, yeah, I could have been rich. I just put some skateboard bearings in some, like, with some rubber bands. I would have, I would have sold it. I would have been rich. I should have patented that. Oh my gosh. Anyway. So that's pretty much what a fidget spinner is. It's something that makes Aviant Rage. Big surprise there. It's it's people making a lot of money. Like these things sell for like a thousand dollars. They have a thousand dollar fidget spinners. Like I mean, I'm hard I try to get that's like a new computer for me. Like come on, Phil. Anyway, but this is a fidget spinner. As I said, it has bearings and stuff, so that way it spins obviously. Um so Basically, um, my, this is my brother's actually. I'm not actually. I don't have one of these. I don't own any of them, and I don't plan on owning any of them because I really am not a not a big fan of them. But it's okay. I mean, I, I just don't have the time to be messing around. I'm too busy with a bunch of stuff like YouTube. But um, as I said, we're gonna make one of these. And so um, a couple goals of things I want to make sure that our design has for this episode is I want to make sure that the design actually spins properly. So as you can see right here, I want it to be able to fully spin. Uh, the other thing I want it to be is relatively small because obviously you don't want this huge bulky design that's going to be taking up all the space on your survival world or your creative world. And also, um, I want it to basically be able to be craftable um, and you know be able you basically you can build it in a survival world. So that's kind of important. Obviously, you know anywhere and any place you can build it, that's obviously kind of important because. You don't want to be able to be restricted by if you can get command blocks or not. Um, and I think that's going to wrap it up. So let's get right into the video and let's actually figure out how we're going to build it. See you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, so here's the design that I've come up with. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think it looks very realistic in the sense that, you know, it spins properly. Um, you know, as I said, cutting back to that part about, you know, the spinning part, you really need to make sure that it's, you know, realistic in the sense that it actually works like it's supposed to. So, um, as you can see right here, the pretty much has these, uh, blocks that kind of go around it, around the centerpiece, and that's pretty much similar to the fidget spinner nowadays. Um, and obviously, this is not a relatively huge design before you all get worried. Um, this is actually, you know, pretty, it's pretty simple and pretty small. And as you can see, I've kind of modified this design up a little bit over here as well. So if you want to go fly over here real quick, you can see we've got this nice little design as well. And I'm not going to get too close because it is a little loud. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's pretty similar and you can, you can edit stuff up. And also, I kind of was experimenting with the same kind of design as well. It looks pretty cool. Anyway, so as you can probably guess, if you're watching this, you probably figured out what this kind of is. Um, and I'm just going to break it down and show you guys exactly what's inside. So first of all, um, as I said, this is kind of using a uh, design. Um, you know, it's pretty small. So actually, the only, if you really wanted to make this as small as it possibly could, all you need to do is pretty much make this um, right here. So all you just really need to do now is pretty much go through and, um, you know, this is the smallest you can make it. So real quick, we're just going to go inside and show you guys exactly what this is. So as you can probably guess, this involves minecarts um, and different blocks in the minecarts. So for example, you can make a TNT, one of these guys, but I would not recommend it. Because that's pretty much the whole base of the fidget spinner. That's the whole track that it follows. So that's all you really need to do is make sure that your fidget spinner kind of follows the track and it goes around here and does what it needs to do. So as you see, we're going to start off by building one of these guys. So as I said, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is take yourself um, I don't even think it's four um, of uh, powered rails and it's four non powered rails that's all you gotta use um, then down here as well you can just pretty much go through and build that now obviously you could use how, as many minecarts as you physically want um, I personally would not put a whole bunch uh, you know it might be a good idea let's try that let's just, just go for it guys let's just put like a 5,000 you know thing fidget spinner let's see how it is my minecarts left me guys why my minecarts leave me okay um, but there we go let's just run over here um, so as I said, you just gotta place down these. I don't know why I just broke those redstone blocks, but just deal with it. Let me set the time real quick, or uh, set the time real quick for you guys. Um, I don't know why I cleared my avatar. It just turned into a messy episode, boys. Okay, so let's just place it down real quick, as you can see, like that. Um, you wanna place down, as I said, those three minecarts. Um, I don't know what that was. I just had a nice little um, spaz attack. I'm honest, I like placing them in there like that, but you can choose however you do it. And then you wanna take a furnace, a pretty much typical furnace. And you just want to put it down in the center. It doesn't matter which way it's facing. Um, sometimes you might have to move the minecarts around a little bit to get a good, uh, good spot in there. Or you might have to take the minecarts out and replace them. I don't know. Uh, I might just go try that. There it goes. As you see, sometimes you just have to get the minecarts right. Um, make sure you kind of time it correctly so it looks realistic as well. And, you know, give it a couple seconds and it will uh, do what it's supposed to. I mean, it's just, it's just perfect. It's literally the matter of how well you time things and how well you get things looking. 
So as you can see, I'm just going to kind of run around now. And as you can see, it kind of does what it's supposed to. Okay, so now you've pretty much got your design um, set up. I like to add some like blocks on the side. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could always add some trap doors or something on the side. Maybe some paintings or things like that. Distract from the redstone. Or, you know, you could. this really doesn't need to be, the redstone really doesn't need to be here. You could always move it um, down here as well. So for example, we have this redstone um, right here. You could just place the redstone block there instead of on the sides. And it would power just the same. So if you really want to make the design, compress the design that small, um, then you could easily do that. And actually, I might just go do that for the purpose of you know showing you guys. Um, so that's all you have to do is just pretty much place a redstone block down here. Don't worry, this won't be visible at all to anybody, so you'll be pretty good. Uh, and just place that down, and then you won't even need the, the sides. I like to put it though, so you don't see the you know the fact that it's on a carpet, and you don't have any idea what it is. But you can you know design it however you'd like. Um, so I'm gonna place these these back, and of course get those um, mine carts going back over here as well. So that's pretty much that. Just start it up real quick. As I said, it's really cool because you actually like spin it too, which is the best part. You actually can start spinning it. Um, okay, so now, as I said, you can choose whatever carpet you like. Um, I personally would not, I don't know what this, the, the wooden trap doors is. I think it really does have to be um, a carpet or a thin block and, as such. So for example, we're going to make this um, a, a white carpet. Um, so let's just go through and place that down real quick. And you can simply see, just place it down like that. And it will start to similar look similar to what we started the episode. Skip the center block, by the way, because you want to kind of represent that that's the center. Uh, I'm sure you could always put coal or something in there to make it look on fire. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Actually, I wonder what happens if we took some coal. But anyway, so once you've done that, as I said, just get time your uh, minecarts and stuff properly um, to make sure that they do what they're supposed to. And um, you know, it's, it's a little weird. It's like really weird mechanics, actually, if I do say so myself. Um, okay, let's try this one real quick. There we go. Let's put that sucker in there real quick. As you can see, that looks pretty realistic. Um, in my sense, so I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's just place this last one down here, and as you can see, you can climb up here and pretty much just see the whole fidget spinner design. So I think it's uh, looking pretty dank, and that's pretty much our whole fidget spinner there, and that's how you build it. So um, as I said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or you guys uh, you know wanted to have a suggestion for me to build, let me know down in the description. I want to start back up my redstone series, so I wouldn't mind you guys hitting me back up with some ideas. Um, as I said, subscribe, bronies, if you're new. That's a good thing, and of course, um, stay tuned for a little while. I have a message for you guys about um the the Discord. Um, that I'm starting up as well. So just stay tuned for you guys, and uh, we're already intro later. So yeah, stay dank, everybody. Welcome you guys to the little after show that I have to talk to you guys about something kind of important. So um, today, um, you know, as you guys may know, I have my own Discord server that's kind of available for any YouTuber out there that might want to start a channel or is looking for some support. So uh, currently, um, I, it's a, all you have to do to get, you know, join this Discord or join this, you know, huge support group for YouTubers is you have to download the uh, app called Discord. It's available for your iPhone, so if you ever want to, you know, grab it, and it looks pretty similar. I don't know how you're going to be able to see that, but it looks pretty similar to, you know, um, it's basically a bunch of chat rooms and stuff. Um, so we have a Discord server. It's uh, the link is down in the description if you're interested. But um, all you have to do is just join it. You can start talking with some YouTubers. I think we over we have almost like 20 or 30 YouTubers. We even have a YouTuber that has 1.2 million subscribers on there that talks pretty actively. If you ever want to meet a million subscribed YouTuber, join the Discord. Anyway, so um, as I said, if you need help, we have multiple graphics artists and things like that on there. And personally, I think this is much better than joining any network. But we're not gonna make get that started because I I would personally wish that I would have had this when I started my channel. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and of course join the discord if you're interested and of course uh, let's let's play the outro now <laughs> 